on it. So hopefully everybody has their chart now. We're going to be talking a little bit about real quick. I want to just highlight. Um, oops, sorry. I want to just. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, there we go. Present. Sorry. <sighs> my first day on the computer y'all. Um, I want to just highlight a little bit kind of what the different profiles are. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, so as you're looking at your chart, you're going to notice one of five different words where it says strategy. Okay, I think strategy, not strategy, sorry. Um, profile type, I forget the word that they call it. Uh, type. Okay. So if you would, because I don't want to confuse people, go ahead and pop what type it says you are. So generator, projector, uh, manifester, manifesting generator, that kind of thing. Design type. Great. Pop your design type in the comments so we can talk about that real quick. Because this part I want to be a little bit more interactive. I want you guys to really kind of get the gist of this. Manifesting generator. Great. Generator. Mm -hmm. Projector. Yep. You're mental, all right, Laura. <laughs> what else have we got? Sheila, you messaged me yours. Where do we see the specific? Or will I just say it? I forget what Ray is. Ray, what are you again? Are you a generator? Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, so we've got mostly some type of generator, and then we've got Laura. No worries, Sheila. And then there's me. Okay, so let's start with Laura. Laura's the projector. Laura's job in the world is to kind of observe, okay? She's not really meant to execute anything. She's not really meant to initiate anything. She's meant to be someone who someone says, hey, can you come help me with this? Can you teach me this? Can you, can you fix this for me? Okay, so she is very much a person who um, is a support person in her life, okay? So she's not meant to go out there and be super like in your face, She's not meant to activate you. If she does any of those things, then chances are she's going to be met with a little bit of who do you think you are, right? And if she feels like she's giving that part of her and she wasn't, and, and if she gives that part of her without waiting for the invitation somebody and somebody doesn't appreciate it, right? If she like messages me and goes, hey, Amy Lee, I know you didn't ask me this, which is never a good thing to say, but here's what I think. I may say, thanks, Laura, but I don't really need your advice. Guess what's going to happen? She's going to get bitter, right? She is going to feel out of alignment and go, well, whatever, right? She's going to be resentful that I didn't want her information. So that's Laura. That's a projector. So you guys know. And she already knew that. I could have skipped it, but she knows it probably better than I do. Moving on to the, um, Denise, did we get yours? I don't see Denise in here. Did anyone see Denise? No, I'm doing that now. I was confused. So give me just a minute. Okay, no problem. Okay, so then we've got manifesting generator. Manifestors are all about creating and like putting things into the field and they don't need the energy of the universe to make something happen. Okay, generators are all about being the little worker bees and activating whatever is happening, right? Like understanding what's going on, being commentators. When you take those two things and smash them together, you get a manifesting generator, which is what Samantha is. Okay, so she's a little bit of create and a little bit of activate. And so she's like creactivate. Okay, so that's the manifesting generator. And then, of course, generator, which is what me, Ray, uh, Missy, I think... I think I remember Sheila being a manifesting generator. Um, so for us, we're all about that, you know, that talk show host, that responding to what's going on. So something's happening in the coaching world. And then Ray says, you know what really grinds my gears. And then he talks about it and that's going to activate people. Um, 
to see a different perspective. Okay. So we are the people who get people to move. We are the activators. We're the ones who are like, Hey, you see that thing. Well, it's not making you happy. And this is why So go do something different. And then they go, Oh, she's right. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize that. Yes. Okay. So that's the generator. So I didn't really plan on explaining that, but then I was like, I guess I could explain that. Okay. Did we find, it should be really quick, Denise. It should just ask you like three or four questions. And to be totally honest, the fact that you're even attracted to us here probably means that you're somewhere in the generator field. We're not really sure where Laura came from. I think it was all my EVs references that some turned in. Manifesting generator. Okay, so you're going to be that combination of a manifester and a generator. So you're going to have a little bit of the energy of let me make something, and then you're going to have a little bit of energy of let me activate. Okay, so you and Samantha are in good company. All right, moving on. So what we're going to talk about for the purposes of scripting when it comes to human design is we're going to talk about your arrows. And that's why it's really important that you have your chart in front of you. The arrows are really going to kind of be the windows of everything on the human design chart. The thing that I love to play with most are your arrows. Does everybody already know what their arrows mean and what they do? Excellent. This is my Mr. Burns triangle fingers gift. This is where I would put it right here. Okay. Human design is the lost owner's manual of the human being. Okay. It tells us what role we play in this life. So whether you believe in multiple lives or not, the idea that this follows is that we have been here many, many, many times in many different ways as men, as women, as plants, as who knows what else. And each time we come here, we have a role to play, just like somebody plays a role in a, uh, a play, right? The role that we play is our human design. It has, from the moment that we were conceived, our conception, um, until the moment that we were born, all of that information of the, where the stars were and where everything was aligned and kind of, you know, where we came into the world, all of that is stored in this chart. And it can tell you incredible things. It can tell you about what your strategy is. It can tell you, um, you know, things that you struggle with, things that are easier for you, your magic, your secret sauce. It can tell you the things that um, are going to help you get ahead with money. It can tell you things that are going to hold you back from money. It can tell you what you should talk about with your uh, community or what's going to activate people, what's not going to activate people. This is something I really dig into with my um, private clients, especially in the goddess activation, which I think, um, I don't think any of you guys have done that, but goddess activation is the one where we really, really dig into the human design chart and um, look at it in detail. We do it in private clients too, but um, just like, it's really the main crux of what we do in um, the goddess activation. Okay, so this is kind of like a, an abstract version of what a human design chart looks like. It's probably very similar to what you guys have. Each one of these represent the different centers. So you've got the head, the ajna, or the third eye. You've got the throat, the G, the G center. I almost said the G spot. <laughs> the G center the heart or the ego, the solar plexus, the sacrum, the spleen, and the root. Okay, and some of these coincide with chakras if you're into that, and some of them don't. Um, so anyway, so that is your, um, your human design chart. Okay, so this is an example, just a general chart, okay? This is probably what you're looking at on your piece of paper. And you're going to notice that this looks very similar, not as round, a little more pointy than the one we just saw before. Now, if you look at the chart, you'll notice that some of these centers are colored in and some of them aren't, okay? And judging from this, interestingly enough, this is almost exactly what my chart looks like. So this person is probably a generator um, because they don't have their ego or their solar plexus and their motor center down here is all um, colored in. 
So when you look at this chart, this over here is your body and this is your mind. Okay. So these are your subconscious traits and these are your conscious traits. So these are the things that you're aware of. And these are the things that you're not quite aware of. These are things that just kind of happen. Okay. That you may or may not be aware of. And you'll see there are different, I could go into detail really deeply on this, but some of the things you'll see are where the planets were seven months before you were conceived as well, sorry, before you were born, as well as when you were born. Okay. So that's the difference in the two charts. So that's why you've got different numbers. Some of them will be exactly the same. Some of them will be different. Okay. And like I said, we're not going into super detail on this. We're going to pay attention to one specific aspect, which are these fun little arrows up here. Questions so far in human design before we go on. I will tell you of all of the systems that are out there that are like, okay, this could work. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it does. This one is the one that you will know within about five minutes, how accurate it is, because it will tell you things about you that you did not know people knew. Ask Ray. We, he and I have a very rare, very unique profile that is shared by basically everyone in history who's ever been vilified in any way. Um, we found another one last night, Ray, uh, Rachel Hollis. Yeah. Talk about being vilified. Alan Iverson is another one of ours. Remember Hitler. him? The basketball player? Hitler. Yep, Hitler. Mm -hmm. Yep, and, and Frank. Oh, Mussolini. Yeah. So, yeah, and um, a, lo a lot of other people. There was someone else I thought of the other day that I was like, oh, I'm that person. But everybody who's ever been vilified in history is basically a 5-1 like me and Ray are. So... There's a lot to, I don't want you to look at this and go, okay, you know, this is bunk, like really listen to what it says, because it will really help you with your strategy going forward. Like what it is that you're trying to create in your life, using your strategy effectively is going to help you. You're going to be swimming with the current instead of against the current. Okay. All right. I feel like I believe at that point a lot. So arrows, these are the arrows. Okay. And first we're going to talk about this top arrow right here. So go ahead and take a moment, look at your chart, look at <coughs> the top left arrow. This is arrow number one. Now I want to point out to you, if your arrow is facing away from the figure, so here's the guy and it's his head. If you're facing away from the figure, then that indicates that that is a masculine quality. Okay. If it faces into the figure, it's a feminine quality. And the difference between those is structure and creativity. That's what you got to remember. Structure and creativity. If it faces away, we're all about structure. If it faces in, we're all about flow. Okay. Feminine, masculine. Feminine, masculine. So we're looking at this arrow right here on your chart. It may face this way. It may face out. Everybody got it? Top left is about digestion. The left, so the masculine, is actively digest your life. Structure and routine work for you. You're a person who likes schedules. You like Ray was saying, I need to put this on my calendar or it won't happen. You like things to be very rigid, um, not in a bad way, but you need to know what comes next. Okay. So it's really important for you that the things in your, in your life that you dot the I's and cross the T's, that you know where you're going, what you're doing. You do the same thing every day. You have a list, you have a checklist. So knowing this about you, if you don't have that and you face the feminine side, then it is all about passive digestion and you're going to be best working in flow. Okay, so you're going to be someone who needs to do it when you feel like it. The other thing too, the word digestion is there for a reason. The left wants to eat the same time every day. The left probably wants to eat pretty much the same stuff. The right wants to eat when they feel like it. Maybe today they have, you know, um, McDonald's and tomorrow they say, you know what, I think I'm going to make myself a sandwich. They may eat not till four o'clock in the afternoon. They may eat first thing in the morning and eat 27 more times. Okay. They don't like structure and they don't, 
they don't thrive in structure. So a lot of empaths feel this way. And that's why in my um, conscious creator program, I actually have a whole time management system specifically for people who are passive, people who want to get stuff done, but would absolutely suffocate if they had to do it the same all the time. So knowing this and knowing where your arrow points, let me know in the comments if this is accurate for you. Based on your arrow and what you see here, let me know if this is accurate. So if the top left arrow is pointing in, then it's then it's feminine, yes, if it's facing the, the guy on, on, on that side. Did you find yours missing? I'm shocked. I thought this whole time the lack of structure in my life is why it was a mess. No, girl. Mm -mm, no, you just got to work according to your strategy. Yeah, no, no. There are going to be times. So um, you're, you're a generator, you said, right? So we need to work when we feel like it. Okay. And like get it all done. And then there'll be times when we just play video games for two days straight. We work hardcore when we're in the zone. And then when we're not in the zone, we can't work. Right. The thing with projectors, which is what Laura is, she can work like this much. And then at anything after that, she's going to be absolutely exhausted. And she's got to go do fun things. She's got to go teach herself languages and play with courses and stuff like that. She can't do a lot of work. Generators only can do what lights them up. By the way, guys, if you want to really dig into your human design strategy, go to, um, on Instagram, Erin Claire Jones. She's absolutely amazing. And she posts all the time about all the different types and the different authorities. And she's amazing. And you guys will love her. Yeah. Time blocking is something that I can do, but I have to do it in flow. And I actually created the, um, the bookend system specifically for that reason. And so people who've been through my time management system absolutely are floored by it because it makes so much sense for people who can't do it the way that Ray does it. <laughs> and Sheila. Um, yeah, so that definitely, yeah, 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 definitely. Um, that is something that, you know, is really going to dictate how you move through life. And if you're a person who's like busy or me, who doesn't thrive on that structure and you feel like you force yourself to do that, you're always going to feel wrong, right? It's like, if you tell a fish to fly, it doesn't mean that the fish is a jerk. It means that fish don't fly. So all this time you've been spending your life thinking, why can't I just, right? Cause that's like the mantra of my people. Why can't I just, because you're not supposed to. It's not how you're meant to work. That's why you can probably crank out, like, you're probably really good at batching, I bet, right? Like, when you get in the zone, you can write three, four, five, six posts, and you're like, oh, yeah, I am so there. And then you're like, don't talk to me. Don't look at me. I am laying on the bed with my feet up in the air like a dead bug, and I'm going to watch Netflix all day. And that's totally how it should be. She's typing away over there. <laughs> Catch me on a good day and I'll go, exactly. Yes, that is a generator. And when you're activated, right? Like when something really lights you up, you will write content that will be the most provocative, most attraction marketing stuff that will ever, like when, when you're on it, you have to act. You have to be like, excuse me, pardon me, coming through. I need to get to my computer. I need to write. Whereas if you try to write when you're not in flow, it's going to go nowhere. No one's going to care about it. It's not going to activate anybody. Yay, Kay. Okay, so, so far we're one for one, yeah? We go to the next arrow. Awesome. Down here. Everybody find their arrow. Awesome. This is the environment arrow. So on the left, this is a little confusing because different people interpret this in different ways. Why does this thing never, there we go. 
the little bar with that all you guys hang out in it never moves for me okay so the left you are here to be observed you are structured your environment is structured you enjoy goal setting okay so you're a person who when you want something you're gonna go okay first i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna do this and you look at that goal list as an indicator of how close you are to creating your ideal outcome Okay, so I want to get to 100,000 a month. First, I'm going to get to 10,000. Then I'm going to get to 20,000. Then I'm going to get to 30,000. And then I'm going to go right from 30,000 to 100,000. I mean, good luck to you if that's your thing. But on the right, you're here to observe. You're more passive. You're more creative. You need varying environments, okay? You don't really care how you get there. You're just like, hey, I want this thing. And I know it's going to come because I'm in high vibration. I know that the universe supports me. I know that this is where I'm supposed to be. And this is happening for me. You don't worry about the logistics, okay? You don't want to worry about the logistics. You can't sit in the same place all the time. You need to sit at the kitchen table. You need to go sit in your office. You need to go play on, you know, sit on your bed to do work. You need to always have different environments. Maybe you want to go to Starbucks one day, okay? The left, you're literally like, I'm sitting at my desk, in my office, doing my thing. This is where I sit. I don't sit anywhere else. I need to have these things done, okay? So this is all about your environment. So on the left, you're here to be observed, okay? You are going to, you're like a statue. You're where you are. The right, you're kind of watching other people. You're people watching. You're figuring things out. It's much more flow. So masculine goes like this. Feminine goes like this. And again, it has nothing to do with your gender or your sex or your anything. It has to do with your strategy. All right, let's see what we got. I am right and I totally agree. I'm left, but I disagree. This one is masculine, enjoys structure and environment. I can agree. My laptop being broken is done. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Between this one and the other one, this is an example of how Jekyll and Hyde I am. One says structure, this one says flow. Right, so exactly. So what that looks like, Ray, is that you are, if you didn't know this, you're going to sit there and beat yourself up because you have these two aspects inside of you. Okay, so, you, so what this looks like for you then <laughs> is that you want to have the same schedule all the time, okay? And that's how you run your life. But you also go, well, you know what? I have this goal. I don't necessarily care what steps you take to get there. So when I was a little girl, my mom used to always take us to the mall. And it took 45 minutes to get there. And I'm like, wow, we live far away from the mall. Right. And she would drive, she'd leave our neighborhood and then she'd go all these back roads to Kingston or whatever and go up and, you know, get to the mall. One day I was hanging out with my best friend and I'm like, let's go to the mall. And she's like, okay. And what does she do? She leaves my driveway. She comes out onto the main road. She hops on the highway and we're there in 10 minutes. My whole life up until that point was a lie. Still get teary thinking about it. But seriously, both of those things got me to the same place. Now, if I'd left it up to the universe, right, I was 10 minutes away. As the crow flies, I was probably like three minutes away. But I didn't know that. My mom didn't like to drive on the highway. I didn't know that either. So the universe is always going to try to find, can you force yourself to be passive? No. The universe is always going to try to find the easiest way for you. But some people find comfort in setting goals. Some people like that. I'm going to clean my house. First, I'm going to vacuum everything. Then I'm going to wash, wash all the windows. Then I'm going to polish all the silverware. Then I'm going to, I don't know, insert other cleaning thing. I don't, I don't clean my house. So for you, Samantha, that's going to light you up. You're going to go, check this off, and I checked this off, and I checked, look at, look at, it's coming together, do you see this? And Sheila's just going to go, when I open my eyes again, this whole house is going to be clean. And then someone's going to call her and go, hey, I'm looking to make a little bit of cash for Christmas, can I come clean your house? Do you see the difference? No one is right or wrong. 
It's just about where it lights you up. So Denise said that this doesn't, this doesn't feel right for her. So Denise, what do you feel? So you feel like you're more on the feminine side. So you're not a goal setter then. I am, but I'm not, you know, I never get to the finishing product of a goal. Oh, like... honey, that, that has nothing <laughs> to do with it. That, no, 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 goal setting and goal <laughs> achievement are two <laughs> different horses of very different colors, right? Execution is a whole nother aspect, but you like to set goals. You like to like check the boxes. You like, yes. okay, yes. so that would be masculine, right? Whereas somebody yep. who doesn't like checklists, they're like, can you just wake me up when it happens? Like, seriously, I don't know. Oh, no, I like checklists, so I understood it. So, yes, then I'd agree with it. <laughs> okay. And Sheila, I know that you're like, yeah, 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 great. Just tell me just tell me when you're done. Here's the money. Goodbye. I want to be that way. Though. I'm this weird thing because I'm masculine out on the upper top one, and then I'm feminine here. So, like, Ray, we're, you know, we're, like, going, sometimes we have to be super, super structured. I got into a disagreement the other day because I said, well, I thought we were doing this on Sunday and this, my not, my manifesting generator husband went because he's the opposite of than me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, <laughs> so on the, um, on the structured side, you want to know when you're eating, you want to know when meals are, you want to know all the things. But in terms of the bringing things into your field, you're more passive about that. So they're very different things. So it makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. Um, the problem with you, Ray, is that you've got your worthiness meter stuck on where you're like, yeah, but that's never going to happen because look at me, I'm me. And we've got to get you to the point where you go, it doesn't matter who I am. I was born. I have a, I have a soul and I'm breathing. Ergo, all of this is mine for the taking because I am a divine expression of God himself, source, creator, higher power. That's who I am. I think that I'm a human, but what I really am is a little tiny particle of the big guy, right? And so I am by definition supposed to have everything I want. But what happens is you go, no, no, you don't understand. You, do you know what I did? Yeah, okay, Ray, tell me what you did. When I was seven, my mom gave me two cookies and when she wasn't looking, I took a third one. And that's why I can't have what I want. And the universe is over here like, the Robert Downey Jr. face, right? Like, oh. You know the one? It's like, <sighs> yeah, totally. Okay, so everybody's two for two. <coughs> one to the next arrow. Isn't this super fun? Isn't human design so fun? I love it. Okay. Oops, did I not make a thingy this time? Oh, I did. Okay, I, I clicked too fast. So here we are up here. Now remember, this side, subconscious, this side, conscious, okay? So here's our arrow. Everybody find your arrow. Good. This one is all about awareness. So for the left, strategic awareness, structured, logical, thrives in an academic setting, we think factually, okay? So these are the people who are all about the logic, okay? They want to see how this connects to that. Hold on, I gotta think of what mine is. Let me top right. Yes, yeah, so this is me. So I'm strategic awareness. The right is receptive awareness. They care about beauty, the hidden meaning, the creativity. They're all about the abstract. Okay, so this is much more about. So these are the people that are like, okay, well, I don't really care why four plus four is eight, right? Like it just is, and I like that, and I like the certainty of that. And that makes sense. And when I do algebra and I balance two sides of an equation, oh my goodness, bring me a fresh set of panties, right? That is strategic awareness. Receptive awareness is more like you're, you know, the people that are out in nature and the tree people. And like, I just want to listen to the birds and, you know, like, I, I just want to be around everything. Okay. So strategic versus receptive. Where do we stand on this one? This one might be a little bit harder to ascertain and I might need to 
walking through a little bit. Mm-hmm. I knew it. See, am I psychic or am I psychic, Samantha? Amy Lee, can you be a mix? I mean, really, I understand that there would be a predominance because I'm left on that, but the whole right side, having lived in nature in Alaska for 20 years and then here, it's just like I'm so into both. Well, I definitely think that you can have an appreciation for both, for sure. But also understand that, yeah, exactly, Laura. This is this this is on the right side so this is all about awareness this is about your mind so this is really kind of like where the thinking piece goes in hold on um you and me are three for three yeah totally so this is about like um these are people that that are going to be i didn't think about that these people are going to be yeah these people are going to be more at home in their head than in their body does that help so these are people that are going to be more like logical and like thinking about it as opposed to the people that feel it so the the right side is going to be more about um the nuance it's going to be more about feeling it having that hunch um really that somatic connection is going to be stronger um I know. Yeah. I struggle to get into my body too. Absolutely. Right. So like feeling a moment, like mindfulness is going to be really hard for strategic people. Uh, it's going to be really a lot easier for receptive people. Okay. It's just being able to sit and feel that moment. Now you can obviously, you can cultivate either one of these, but it's not your natural strategy. Okay. And this one might be a little bit more, um, you know, something that you're not necessarily going to be quite as aware of. Oops, what did I just do? Oh, okay. Uh, that you might not be aware of until you really start to think about it. It's kind of like that, you know, little toe on your foot. You're not necessarily going to um, understand that until you start to think about it. And then you're going to go, okay, yeah, this makes sense. Right. And then, of course, too, think about trauma. Like trauma can totally change how our strategy shows up as well. So, like, if you're a person who you better get that answer right or your mom's going to whip you, you're probably going to become much more of a strategically aware person to survive, right? Like, we always adapt to survive. So, how do we do on this one? Pretty close. (laughs) I love that. Four plus four is really just, it's just a mindset. (laughs) Are we good? Okay. Is anybody still three for three? Everybody. Nice. Okay. And then here's our last arrow. Oh, hold on. Yes. Yeah, and that's really where your power is. So, like, consider this. Like, you can have the keys to your car, but if you're not in your car, it's not driving anywhere right? Unless I suppose if you had a remote control car, but, but most of the time, if you're not in your car, it isn't going anywhere. Okay. So your body is the same thing. You can't create on this plane without being in your body. You can't create with your brain only. You have to have that coherence between mind and body. And there are lots of things out there that would love it. If you never had that connection again, they try very hard to separate those two so that you are pretty much useless. Okay. You see that in a lot of foods we eat. You may or may not see that in certain pokey things that have happened recently. Um, there are a lot of different aspects of trying to keep people from connecting in this way. Okay? It's very, very real, very deliberate thing. Um, and so, understanding that you have to have the connection between the two, the red arrows and the black arrows, the mind and the body. That's where you really have to understand that they, they kind of fit together that way. Um, The bottom right is about perspective. So the left is active perspective. This is where the juicy stuff happens. We're talking about how do we bring things into my life, Amy Lee? How do we freaking manifest? This is where we fit into the scripting piece, okay? So the active perspective is about specific manifestation, designing exactly what you want and getting it. I want a blue Audi XS. I want a 
tinted windows. I want black interior. I want it to have less than 10,000 miles on it. I want it for this price. This is what I want. Okay. Lists, vision boards work really well for these folks. I am an active perspective. Okay. The right passive perspective. They focus on the core desired feeling, the general feeling of support. It's less vision or mood. Okay. So it's about the color. It's about the nuance. It's about, I really just want to be happy. I don't necessarily care what my house looks like. As long as I love the house, as long as it's comfortable, as long as I'm happy there. Okay. So they're really focusing more on the feeling than the actual item. <laughs> um, Laura, if I had to guess, I would say you're passive, but I could be completely wrong because I don't think I've ever heard you utter any actual thing that you want. As long as they're open, guys, ways of being. Yes, exactly. Right. Oh, Amy Lee, stop touching this. So, um, so this is really going to matter when it comes to your scripting, right? Because obviously, you, if you're more of a feeling person, that, sorry, more of an emotionally feeling person, then you're going to really want to focus on that. Okay. So bah, 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 knowing your strategy and like, get it? Cause just a strategy game. Yeah. If it's active, mostly active, right? So if you're mostly masculine, if most of your arrows, well, most of them, cause there's only four, but if your arrows point to the left, then you're going to focus more on the actual thing. Be super specific. So when you're writing your scripts, you're going to talk specifically about the thing, the thing you did, the place you went, what it looked like, exactly what it is, collapsing that quantum field to make it only that thing, okay? So it's not, I had a great dinner with my spouse. It's, we went to Friday's and I got the Jack Daniel's shrimp and it was amazing and I loved the texture and I had a Caesar salad. That is going to be more of the active manifester okay the per and you know you and if you're a person who enjoys being on a schedule you know today i woke up at eight o'clock just like i did yesterday the first thing i did was have my favorite breakfast right so you're anchoring in those pieces of your strategy into your script because those are who you are okay but if you're a more passive person, you're going to focus on the feeling you want to create. My spouse and I went out to eat. It was amazing. The texture of the food was delightful. By the end of the meal, I wanted more. Then we had dessert. Dessert was so yummy. I haven't had a dessert that was that yummy in so long. That was the best chocolate I have had in a long time. And when I went home, all I could think of was how happy and grateful I was for that experience. Do you see the difference? So depending on what your strategy is, is how you're going to want to write your script. Okay. How are we doing on time? Oh, 20 minutes. All right. Opening it so up. I'm confused. Yeah, sure. My uppers look like this and okay. my lowers no, my uppers look like this and my lowers look like this. Do you want to so share like, your screen and show us your chart? No, oh, it's right here. Oh, okay. Shoot me um, a message. Shoot shoot me a, um, a DM with it. Send me the picture okay. and I'll okay. pull it out for you. That's, it's like I can't make up my mind. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, it's like all messed up. <laughs> no, not at all. I, I don't have all the same arrows. All of mine point into the person. Okay, Amy Lee, here's you. Okay, there's mine. I just sent it to you. Okay, I'm, I'm grabbing it now. Okay. Okay, here it is. Okay, so up here, so mm -hmm. this one, so this one is going to be feminine. So that means right. that you don't you don't like to have to be somewhere you're not structured that way, right? Right. Okay. This one is going to be your um is that facing so tiny. I can't make it bigger. This that one, one is that one's 
pointing inward. The tips? No, it's yeah. Not. Both the tops are pointing in. Oh, I'm sorry. The I'm looking at the pointing out. Yeah, I'm looking at the bottom one. Okay, that one's out. Yeah, okay. I was like, am I crazy? Okay, so this one is going to be that you're a passive manifester. So these are passive and these are active. Okay. But that makes sense, right? Like it's not on all or, or nothing thing. I guess I'm just confused as to understanding it. <laughs> okay, um, help me understand more what you mean, what you're confused about. Because each one of these represents a different, oh, you're saying in terms of, so I'm when I'm saying active or passive, I'm talking about that specific thing. So mm -hmm. in the case of this, if you're talking about being the um, passive with your schedule, your scripts aren't all going to sound the same. You're not going to say, I got up at eight like I always do. You're going to say, today I woke up and I let myself sleep in a little bit because I felt like I needed more sleep. So and it says it works best in flows. So it kind of just goes however things happen. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I have a chatty chat. Yeah, I am too, 50%, right. But but in those aspects, you can write from a certain perspective, right? So your awareness, if it's passive, then you can write your awareness in your scripts passively. You can okay. write your scripts actively. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, Emily, can you tell us again what the four the what the first one was digestion what's the yeah i'll pull it back up for you so you can see it again okay. thanks i think that's the easiest way to do it yeah let's we'll just run through them again real fast as soon as i figure out where the little zoomy thing went hold on sometimes i feel like i cannot be trusted with this computer machine Okay, so top left, this one, digestion. So left is your actively digesting life, structure, routine. This is where the anal retentive comes from. I need to do this at this time. I need to do that at this time. Right is like, whatever, man, let's just get it done. Okay. Down here. Environment. Here to be observed. I am like a stone. I do things. You will always find me in the same spot. I like goal setting. I like being a creature of habit, just like that first one, right? We talked about that. This is an, another aspect of that. Okay, so you won't probably won't talk in your scripts about where you're sitting because it's understood. You're always at your desk. You're not going to say, today I sat at my desk. But if you're passive, you might say, today I decided to go off book and go to Starbucks to do my work. Today I decided to go to the park because it was beautiful. Does that make sense? Okay. This guy, awareness, strategic awareness, structured, logical, thrives in an academic setting, thinks factually. Well, if this is this, then that is that, right? Like, um, what's his face there? Uh, Flounder from, from the Little Mermaid when he's talking about Scuttle. And this is this, and that is that. Okay. Right. Receptive awareness. I care about beauty, hidden meaning, creativity. It's more about the big picture for me. I don't need details. I want to see big picture. I want to see my awareness is that, oh, wow, the sky looks beautiful. Look at all those happy clouds. Whereas Ray might be like, look at that cloud that's 37 degrees to the right. See how this little tip of it kind of like is about, it's about three feet long and it kind of looks like the beak of a duck, right? So more nuanced, macro, micro, okay? And then the big one is this one, 
which is your perspective, active perspective versus passive perspective. I want these things. I'm a vision board person, um, lists, checklists, lists, you know, these are exactly the things that I want versus passive, which is about the core desired feelings, general feelings of support, less vision, more mood. Okay, so it's more of a feeling, it's more nuances, it's colors, it's shapes, it's, it's, it's more, it's when we do soul vision boards and dream design intensives, this is what we're talking about, more of the passive piece. People who are active perspective have a little bit more hard of time making those boards, so I have to coach them more. The people that have an easy time and make the board no problem are my passive people. Yeah, Laura, I don't know what happened with you. I think you were, I think it was your people pleaser that kicked in. So in each aspect of these, you're going to look at it and go, okay, when I'm incorporating this strategy into my, because this is how you live your life is with your strategy. Okay. So in your scripting, that's how you're emulating how you live your life. So each one of these is going to show up in your scripting. So you want to make sure that you're writing from the perspective of that strategy. Does that make sense now, Denise? Yes. Good. Makes a lot more sense. Okay, good. That's real. <laughs> I love you. Okay. Other questions, comments, concerns? Uppers are all active, lowers are passive. Jekyll and Hyde. So ask yourself, Ray, what are you here to learn by being such a contradiction, right? Like, what is that? There's a reason for that. You created that and the creator created that for a reason. You're not a mistake. It wasn't an accident. It was intentional. So I want you to try to get to the bottom of why does it serve me to be so structured and at the same time be so passive? Why is that helpful for me? Start thinking about that in your head. Just kidding. It takes some time. Does everybody know how to do the scripting piece? Do you feel excited about it? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Um, we have about 10 minutes left. I don't want to force anybody to stay, but if you guys have questions, I ran a little bit short because I talk like the micro machines guy. Um, but I want to make sure that I don't leave anything on the table. I also don't want us to all sit here and stare at each other either. I'm good. Um, but I'm sure after we script the first couple of times, we'll have lots of questions. Yes, so that's a great question. Um, in the actual course, it lets you leave comments. So you can go ahead and just leave a comment and say, hey, Amy, I'm stuck on this or I'm stuck mm -hmm. on that. Um, and then that way I can go in and, and answer it. Um, what I will be adding today, I will let this render, right? And then we'll have the video and I will also upload your new Trello board. I say new because Ryan. Samantha, I've done this before. Actually, a lot of you guys have done this before. Uh, not this one. This one's much more intense, I think. Um, but I will put the Trello board in there as well as this recording. Um, and then, yeah, you guys should be, I mean, you could go start now. And if you do start a script in the middle of the day, you can totally do that. The caveat there is that, you know, you have to write kind of hybrid of like what already happened and what hasn't happened yet. So sometimes like I will go back and write as if I like, like the first part of it will be what actually happened. I can't go back and write things that already happened that I say didn't happen. So I'll go back and say all the things that happened. And then the rest of the day I'll script as if it happened. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense, but I'm not explaining it right. But I think you guys all know what I'm trying to say. Okay. You write reality from what's already occurred, and then you script into reality what you want for the rest exactly. of the day. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this was helpful. I would love it if you guys um, found this helpful and you would write a testimonial for me. That would be amazing. Um, I love teaching this class, and 
I think more people need to learn about scripting and what it is. So if you want, you can put one in the group, or if you don't feel comfortable with that and you just want to send me one, you can do that at gratitudeglamourinc at gmail.com. Or if you want, you can put one on Instagram or whatever you want to do. So, yay. You know, right. I think this is yes. my favorite one because of the explanation of the human design. It's like that literally because I think what is this my third one I've done with you um or more I don't know we do the scripting I'm always in the scripting class but this one really made brought the clarity with you know when I'm looking I've been thinking about the other ones that I was have been writing and and it's like oh well no wonder I do that and so thank you for adding this aspect of it because I, I think it's going to really help a lot more people be um, able to do it more comfortably. Yeah, absolutely. And understanding that they're doing it in alignment, right? Like it's not just I'm writing this stuff and it's weird. Um, and that was the piece that I really felt like was missing last time was like, okay, now I understand this aspect of it. How do I bring that into kind of what, oh, hello. Hello, cat. My cat. My <laughs> cat looks huge because of like the depth perception. Like, looks like it's like Clifford the cat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad that it was helpful. And um, yeah, let me know. Um, oh, I want to tell you guys. Um, I think all of you already have it, but just so you know, the Black Friday special is coming um, next Friday. Next Friday, Friday, whatever. And I'm doing um, a Dream Design intensive as well as the Conscious Creator course. For three ninety seven, so you're basically getting the conscious creator course for ninety nine dollars. So if anybody's interested in that, um, 